The Red Sox and Blue Jays played a lot of close games last weekend. This is game one of a doubleheader, so it's only seven innings long. We're in top six, and the Red Sox have something brewing. They got first and second, only one out. It's brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings, download the number one rated sportsbook app, and use promo code JOHNBOY. When you do, watch this interesting play with an interesting ruling. Ground ball to third. They get the out at second. Double play completed. No, safe. Now, Verdugo was pointing back saying, hey, he got in my way. He got in my way. So Verdugo knows that he might not have touched first base, but the ump calls him safe. And he says, okay, all right, no problem. But he then walks back and makes sure that he touches first base. He's like, you know what? I may not have touched it. I got to make sure I establish dominance. It's my first base. Live time, everyone first saw that Verdugo didn't touch first, but neither did the first baseman. So how could it be anything? What is the ruling here? And then they're like, oh, wait. But now his foot slides on top of first, and he's got the ball in his hand. That must be out. They should replay this and call it out. And then a lot of other people were saying, well, it's obstruction because you can't, as a first baseman, have your leg block the runner's path to the base. If that was allowed, every first baseman would just put their foot there and make it really difficult for runners. So there were so a lot of people are saying, well, it was obstruction. That's what they called. Neither are the case, which is really interesting. The ruling is that if the runner does not touch first base, he can still be called safe if the fielder also doesn't touch first base, which is bizarre. But I'm guessing they made the rule that in case this happens and then the play goes on and then they challenge it after the fact. I have no idea, but the rule says that the runner does not have to touch first base. He's safe the moment he crosses it. And if he crosses it before the fielder fields it, if the fielder also isn't touching first base, then he's safe. So that makes him safe right here. As soon as the umpire calls him safe, he's safe. But the Blue Jays would have to appeal that play. They would have to look at the umpire and say, I think he missed first base and step on first base he would have to knowingly be appealing the fact that Verdugo missed first base in order to appeal the safe call and Verdugo is now looking he's just fucking bullshit he's looking at the replay because he thinks he's going to be out and he says he can't set up like that so he wants obstruction little does he know he's safe anyway and he, oh, Gariel's looking like uh-oh I don't know if that's good for me now they get on the headphones and they say safe Verdugo says, okay, there you go. Thank you. And they're like, but he went over. But he went over. Now Montoyo's going to walk out, and he's going to try and figure it out. And you can see the umpire explain to him, say, after he misses, he does not come set on the bag and appeal. He didn't know the runner missed first. So he's saying that, yeah, he may have had his toe on the bag here with the ball in his hand, but he didn't know that Verdugo missed first base and he wasn't actively looking at the umpire saying, hey, he missed first. I got him out. If he did that, it would have been awarded. But it's a funky ruling. And because Verdugo came back and established that it was his bag, it's now his bag. If you miss it, it's up to appeal. So it's not just right route. Now, Verdugo, where the Red Sox coach is starting yelling at Matoro, like, hey, shut up. Come on, we're good. And he's like, I'm not even, t- I'm just listening. And I'm says, we're just speaking to him. Matoro says, hey, look at this guy. I'll speak to him. I'll speak to him. Matoro goes his way, and the Blue Jays just get out of it. Robbie Ray induces a foul pop up, and he's out. Really interesting rule. I didn't really know what was going on. Everyone, I saw two sides on the internet, and neither side was right because it's a weird rule that says, You can be safe at first, even if you miss the bag, as long as they also miss the bag, or I guess never attempt to play. Bizarre rule. Go to DraftKings.com. Download the app. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do, and uh, maybe you'll get, you know, the benefit of a bizarre call like this, or maybe you'll get screwed by it. That's the fun.